Hell yeah. Welcome to Buckeyes and Friends. Shuffle up and stay a while. <laughs> Here we go. guys here we go uh we have a little bit of uh, star wars unlimited going on today uh watching a game between two guys uh that are playing on discord uh they're just doing some casual games well let's check out what's going on uh so we have uh we have an inquisitor versus uh uh Aiden. uh so we have blue green versus red yellow it looks like uh a, a special location and a basic location uh we're going to into turn i'm gonna turn them all the way down here uh, we're we're at three resources apiece at this time, so uh, we're we're well into the second turn. Um, we have uh, units going up into the in the space. Okay, we got the super laser blaster coming down from uh, from the control player on the right. Uh, I don't I don't I know that uh, Iden is a control player. We have a, an offer up into uh, a trade here. A trade. Yep. We so trade accepted. Um, we get to look at the top two, put them back, um, and then we're gonna, I don't, I'm gonna figure out what, what happens there. I, I need to pull up. Huh. Let's, let's. Let's look at what that card does. Um, I don't know why we exhausted it in order to do that. So um, you can go to StarWarsUnlimited.com if you didn't know this. And uh, they have a little thing where you can look at the cards. So we're going to look at card database. Um, and I'm going to look at the leaders. This is Iden Verso. Uh, if an enemy unit was defeated this phase, heal one damage from your base. I don't know if there was any damage on the base. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, you know? Oh, we have, uh, if you didn't see this, the guy guy on the right, Mr. Snapback, he, uh, he's he got a uh, baby coach, a little baby coaching going on there. Um, baby helping him play. It's, it's a good it's a good tactic. Um, babies are, uh, are pretty good at the art of war. Um, we just paid three for... So I don't I don't know what card that is from that artwork. Uh, I'm still learning the cards, so uh, we're just going to comment on stuff that we know. Maybe we could go into some uh, some rules that happen. Um, so in this game, you draw your hand at the end of the turn. You draw two cards, um, and then the person that has the initiative, the initiative is a uh, an action you can take to take the initiative, um, and the person whose initiative it is gets to choose whether or not they play a resource. And then the non-initiative person gets to choose whether or not they play a resource. And then everybody readies up their resources at the same time. And you continue. Okay. So um, we have a big boba. Uh, that's the uh, three-drop boba. That is a card that I can't pull. I don't own any bobas. Um, so it, it's real good. It, it deals damage to things that are exhausted that have come into play in previous turns. It's pretty good. Um, on the other side, over to the to the right, we have a, a Sentinel. Sentinel means that if you attack into that arena, you must attack a unit with Sentinel first. Um, boop, 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 boop. Uh, the Laser Blast guy, those guys, are they have bad mental health issues going on. They usually uh, just smash themselves into people and die. Uh, but we'll see what happens here. Because if they when they die, they become resources. For all my versus folks, it's Mantis. It's a Mantis. That's the green guy that has like it looks like one eye, but it's like part of his helmet. I don't. I don't know. Uh, there's a counter on Boba. I I don't know what the counter is. You guys, we're still we're sort of learning the ins and outs of the game. I don't know every card by its picture yet. So you guys are just here with me. Um, what, what do we got going on here? Oh, okay. So it looks like the Sentinel died. I, I, I don't. Oh, maybe the Sentinel attacked in and did some damage. Got rid of. Maybe that's a shield counter. 
He went in, got got killed. I I don't have any idea, guys. I'm I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't. You, you guys gotta love me because I, I don't love myself right now. I, I don't know what I'm doing, commentating. But we're uh, we're gonna figure out. Oh, so we have an untap step. We're untapping. Um, there we go. Readying. Sorry, wizards, don't come at me. I don't, I don't, I don't want you guys to come at me for that. That's all I need is Mark Rose water, putting this rose in my water. Laying some stuff, we're laying down resources. So we kind of did that in opposite order uh, with the Inquisitor guy. Um, it's okay. People, this is a, a very loose and loosey goosey game here. Um, all right. So we had a, a sacrifice in by the laser technician and he killed Boba and then became a resource. He did Mantis's job, right? Oh, Greedo. Uh, I know he shoots first. Um, you guys will find out I'm not a Star Wars guy. I, I play, I play this game cause my wife loves it. Um, and then I was like, if I'm going to play a game, I might as well make some content for it. So, uh, so Greedo, he shoots first. And he's got a weird mouth. Um, he needs to get some lip injections. Uh, I think that, that that is a a found lightsaber, a discarded lightsaber that that Greedo picked up. Uh, we have another super laser technician that came out of nowhere, uh, and then we have a um, a death trooper. Death troopers are really neat. When they come into play. They can deal damage to stuff. They have to deal damage to your opponent and to one of your dudes. Um. They seem to be fun. They seem to be a card that people like to play. If you want to play a card that people like to play, play Super Laser Technician. It's green. And play Death, Death Trooper. He's blue. But people like to play him. Play him. It's cool. You can play cards you like. You don't have to play cards that everybody plays. Just play cards you like. That's fine. What's going on here? So, uh, are we... We're untapping. We're untapping. Okay. We're at the end of a turn. Um, we're drawing. Uh, it looks like baby coach is doing some good baby baby coaching. See, there we go. Uh, see, I think maybe baby coach works for the other team because baby coach is moving all around and making, making dad show off his, uh, his hand. As we saw a little bit of his hand there. Uh, baby coach is not affected. We no longer have baby coach. Uh, that was super laser technician dying. See that? Mantis. This, let's just call it Mantis. That's fine. Mantis. We're, taking, we're putting some counters on. In this game, you're allowed to use counters. If you have to use counters for stuff. Um, Super Laser Technician died. Um, so now he counts as a dude there. Um, that looked like a card he played that tapped a dude. I mean, exhausted a dude. Sorry, Mike Rosewater. Ooh, this guy. So um, he comes in and he's shielded. And he's a 2-2. He costs two, or maybe he costs three. I think he costs two. Um, I hate that guy. We'll talk about that later. You'll probably see some stuff, some things about cards I hate. We're going to talk about that. Agreed. I just agreed. I made you guys agree with me. I didn't really ask if you agreed. Oh, it looks like we have Inquisitor on the field. I don't know what he does when he's on the field. Let's look it up on the Star Wars Unlimited dot com card database. I don't know what he does. I don't know what any cards do, really, except for Mantis. I mean, Super Laser Technician. So when oh, he's already dead. He's already gone, but here's what he does. Uh, you may, on attack, on attack means when you attack, you can deal one damage to another friendly unit with three or less power and ready it. 
Well, it looks like the deck that we're looking at here is going to be ready in a bunch of stuff. But that doesn't seem to be doing much because there's so much Sentinel stuff going on. Oh, look, his stuff is now big or is now a unit. We did look and see what Aiden does when she becomes a unit. Let's let's give her the fair treatment, right? So she comes in shielded, so she cheats already. Oh, if you don't know what shielded means, it means you get a little token and it takes damage to take it off. But it like in this game, damage is dealt in packets. So like let's say that she has a shield on. Well, you deal seven damage to her. That shield absorbs all seven and then falls off. So shields are, it seems like it would be beneficial to just ping, like ping, knock off your shield and then hit you in the face. We'll see if that ends up happening in, to things in this game. I, I don't know. Oh. So she still has a shield. That dude's got two damage. It looks over here like uh, Smuggler. I think his name is, his name is something. Let's look at what his name is. I know he's a yellow card. So we're going to go down to the yellow cards. People are going to be like, you should call him by what the aspect name is. Well, the aspect name on this channel is yellow. Um, Sorry about, sorry about you. Um, his name is. Do, do, do. Oh. Why is this stuff in order the way I want it to be? He's just a regular dude, right? Um, here he is. His name is Crafty Smuggler. I hope that it, people that are Star Wars people, is there really like a guy in the show that they're like, look, we're, we have, we have Grandma Tarkin and he's looking for Crafty Smuggler and they know exactly which dude that is. Craft, crafty Smuggler. Oh, do we have Efficient Butler? I don't. Oh, we have some explaining of a card here. Let's see, uh, this is this is what this card does, and then it goes over here, and it makes your shield go away, and your dude die. Yeah, it makes your dude die. That that's a card that I don't. I can't. I don't know what the cards do yet, guys. I'm dumb. You guys just wait. Wait to how good this gets once I know what the cards do, and the rules, and the meta. Hey, there's another crafty smuggler. See? Good thing we were looking for him because there's lots of them. Oh, there's another super laser technician. Mantis. Oh, there it is. That's Bib Fortuna. Bib Fortuna. That dude eats so much tuna, he's got a built-in bib for it. I, I don't know how it works. It's like attached to his face or something. But if he's having a tuna sandwich, he uses that for a bib. I don't, I don't know. Oh, we also have a little space guy. Uh, it looks like two CDs on a, it's like a CD fist, like fist on CDs. I, I don't know Star Wars. Oh, sorry if that was real loud. There just doesn't seem to be a lot of damage happening in this game. Like when I played this game, my wife beats me. If I put a long pause there, you'll feel sorry for me. My wife beats me. But then I tell you that she beats me like by turn six every single time. Well, Tuna guy, he's got a counter on him. Do I know what the counter does? No, not at all. We're gonna tap some cards or exhaust some cards. <gasps> uh oh. Now we got we got Bona, Boba Fett, and Bibby. Bibby Boba. Oh, we have some damage going on somebody from good old Mantis. For you guys that don't know, there's another game out there called the Versus Two Player Card Game. Really fun. Um, there's all kinds of like comic book characters in there and AEW wrestlers and stuff like that. If you're seeing this, you might not it, it might not transfer, right? Uh, but uh, 
in the movies. Do you remember um, the Marvel movies where Drax likes a girl and he's like, you are so gross. And he gets kind of sick thinking about it, how gross she looks. Her name's Mantis. And in the game, if she dies, she does what super laser technician does. So I'm just going to relate this back to stuff that I know. And then you guys also get to learn about a new game or a different game. It's not new. It's been out for like eight years. If you know, if you notice, like all the resources are, are face down and stuff. This is just like versus. This is like this is kind of like versus. You got a main character, but it's not always a character. Um, but your main character also has a house. So um, imagine you're playing Mr. Fantastic and you start out with the Baxter building. That's all this game is. It's this, it's very similar. Um, instead of your hero having five to seven health, your hero has 30. That's it. This guy's got a billion resources, a billion. And two damage. He's got two damage on his thing. He just doesn't, his deck is just like, I don't want to take damage. We're going to get to, he's going to get to the late game. Um, he's going to drop I, I don't, a big spaceship, big, a big one. That's what he's going to do. I think that's the whole point of this deck is to drop spaceship. But we haven't seen Spaceship yet. What's the difference between a spaceship and a space shuttle? I don't know. You don't you don't ever see like dudes that are playing cards that have space shuttles. It's always spaceships. Pirates never sail you don't hear like I sail a pirate boat. Pirates always have ships. I don't know the difference between a boat, a ship, and a shuttle. Okay, that's Count Doko. And um, every time I've played him, I've lost the game. Oh, that's a Vanquish. And that is a super laser blast. And so I guess the game is over now. Yeah, yeah. So blue guy beats red guy. That's how it goes. Um Sometimes you lose a game. Uh, so I'm going to go in here and we're going to, we're going to end it up. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy the journey that it's going to be of me learning how to play a new card game. It, maybe it will be fun one time. All right. All right. Love you. Bye.